Welcome to our cPanel tutorial. Today, we'll show you how to create a team user in cPanel's Manage Team interface. If this is your first time using Manage Team, I'd suggest watching the Manage Team interface video first. I'll drop a link in the description below. The Manage Team interface makes it easy for you to add people who can help manage your website. The cPanel account user is the team owner. As the team owner, you can appoint a team to help you manage your cPanel account. You can add a team user to help manage email or databases or be an administrator on your account. This feature grants access to account level functionality. Only grant this permission to users that you trust to access and modify your account. I don't have any team users. Before we create one, let's find out what a team user can do. All team users can log into cPanel update their password, change the default interface language, and update their contact information. Team users can also access services that the team owner assigns. Team owners can assign the following services. Email. This service gives the team user a webmail account. You can configure the quota for the account to determine how much hard drive space the team user may use to store email. FTP. This service gives the team user access to website files for the cPanel account. It is only available if your hosting provider has enabled it. You can configure the team user's quota and FTP home directory. Web Disk. The Web Disk utility allows you to manage and manipulate files on your server in multiple types of interfaces. For example, your computer, mobile device, or certain types of software. You can configure the following web disk settings, the team user's web disk home directory, and the team user's home directory permissions. You can select whether or not the team user can read and write files inside the directory. You can also give a team user a role. Assigning a team user a role allows them to manage various aspects of the cPanel account. You can assign a team member multiple roles. You can assign the following roles to a team user database, email, web, and administrator. Let's look at what each role unlocks for a team user. The database role. This role allows a team user to access tools and modify files related to database management for the team owner's cPanel account. A user assigned a database role has access to the following interfaces in cPanel. Backup, Backup Wizard, PHP My Admin, Manage My Databases, Database Wizard, Remote Database Access, PHP Pair Packages, Multi-PHP Manager, Multi-PHP INI Editor, Password and Security, Change Language, and Contact Information. The Email Role. This role enables a team user to access tools and modify files related to email administration for the team owner's cPanel account such as email routing and mailing lists. A user assigned an email role has access to the following interfaces in cPanel. Zone Editor, Password and Security, Change Language, Contact Information, and all email interfaces except for the global email filters and email filters interfaces. The Web Role. This role enables a team user to access tools, and modify files related to website functionality, such as SiteJet Builder, WP Toolkit, and bandwidth usage. A user assigned a web role has access to the following interfaces in cPanel. Backup, Backup Wizard, WP Toolkit, Site Publisher, SiteJet Builder, Redirects, Dynamic DNS, Bandwidth, Raw Access, AW Stats, Analog Stats, Webalyzer, PHP Pair Packages, Multi-PHP Manager, Multi-PHP INI Editor, Password and Security, Change Language, and Contact Information. The Administrator Role. The Administrator Role has the privileges of all of the roles, Email, Databases, and Web. If you want someone who can manage it all, you only need to select the Administrator Role. Administrators have access to all interfaces, except calendars and contacts configuration, calendars and contacts sharing, calendars and contacts management, 
user manager, and manage team. One important thing to note, although you can create an unlimited number of team users, you can only assign seven team users a role. Now that you know what kinds of services and roles you can assign, let's create some team users to help us manage the account. First, log in to your cPanel account. Now let's click on Manage Team in the main navigation menu. The Manage Team interface will appear. Here we are in the Manage Team interface. Team users will appear in the table you've added them. Let's get started. Click on Create Team User. I'd like some help managing my email, so I'm going to create a team user account for Johanna. She's really good at writing and is a people person, so I trust her for that role. I'll enter Johanna for the username. I'm going to let her create her own password, so I will select the The User Will Set the Account Password option. I'll enter her email here. Next, let's select the email role. Remember, this role may grant access to account level functionality. Only grant this role to users that you trust to access and modify your account. I trust Johanna, so I will acknowledge that I have read and understood the security risk warning. If I have any notes about Johanna, I can enter them here. I don't, so I will skip it. Now I need to select the services she has access to. I will definitely enable email for her. If I want Johanna to manage email for a limited amount of time, I can set an expiration date here. But I want her to have this role indefinitely, so I'll skip this section. Let's click Create. A success message will appear. You can see our new team member here. Along with her role, last login date, and what services she has access to. You can also manage this team user with the action here, edit user, suspend, or delete. We talk about these options in another video. I will add a link to the Manage Team Interface video in the description below. You'll notice I have one user assigned a role. Let's create another. We get a lot of emails and I wanna make sure there is a backup for when Johanna is not working. I also need someone who can manage databases. Let's create a user that can do both of those roles. Click create a team user. Let's pick Max. I trust him and he's good at database management. In the role section, I'll select both database and email. Let's click create. A success message will appear. You know, I should probably give my co-owner administrative access. Let's create a team user for them. I want them to have as much access as possible. In the roles section, I'll select administrator. Remember, this role includes all privileges connected to each of the other roles. And that's it. You've learned how to create team users. For more information about cPanel, your hosting platform of choice, visit our website at cPanel.net and on social media at cPanel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.